money keep coming in. I get juice. Foreign cars off the train. I get cool. Got different color on my diamonds. I can't even see the time. Hey, what's up, guys? Before I start this video, I wanted to take a minute to tell you guys about Pro Guides. Pro Guides is a brand new way to learn secret tips, insane tricks, and brand new metas the fastest way possible. They have the most up to date tutorials, the best ways to improve, personalized teaching, and it's all for free. Hey, what's up guys? In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix micro stutters and performance problems that you guys might be having with Season 10. I know for a fact that as soon as I loaded up my first game in Season 10, I ran into a ton of performance problems and stutters and game freezes just like the ones that you're seeing on screen right now. As you guys can see, as big or small these may be, they affect your gameplay greatly. They can make you miss shots, fall off builds, and make mistakes just like that one in important games. So it's very important to fix this as soon as possible, and although Epic Games has said that they have a fix coming and that they're looking to solve the problem, it could be a while before they actually have a solution. So in this video today, I've found some of the best ways that you guys can maximize performance in Fortnite. So no matter how good your PC is or how beefy components in your PC are, these tips will help you lower the chances of you getting these micro stutters and it will help you with performance in game. So for the first tip, what you guys want to do is go ahead and open up your Windows search and then type in the word graphic. You'll see this thing that says graphic settings. Clip that, click browse, and now you'll get this file browser. Go ahead and go to the drive where you have your Fortnite game installed. Now click Fortnite and then go to Fortnite game. Once you're in Fortnite game, click on binaries and then go to Win64. Here you're going to see these four Fortnite client things. Click on the one that says Win64 shipping that has the largest file size, then click add. Once you've done this, click on options and click it and put it on high performance. This will put your graphic settings to max power for Fortnite and it will ultimately optimize it for Fortnite. Shout out to Zerky for finding this. Here's his Twitter. Go check him out and let's get right on to the next tip. For this next one, you guys have to have a NVIDIA GPU. Go ahead and right click on your desktop and click on NVIDIA control panel. Once you're here, go to manage 3D settings and copy exactly what I have for my 3D settings. I'm going to scroll through real quick and show you guys everything I have and these are the exact settings that you want to have. This is what the pro u pros use to maximize performance and to get Get more frames while playing the game once you've done this go ahead and go to the left side and do exactly what i do click adjust image settings with preview and click on use my preference put your preference on performance as it'll normally be on balance and then click apply once you've done that your game will be running at the maximum performance possible in terms of your graphics card and how much it's putting into what another thing you can do is change your resolution in order to put less stress on your pc but that is up to you for the next one, what you guys are going to want to do is click type to search once again, aka Windows search, and type in background apps. Click on background apps and make sure that this is off. This will normally be on on and turning this off will give you guys a significant FPS improvement. And for the next tip, you're going to once again go to the search bar and type in defragment. Click on defragment and optimize drives and then click on the drive that you mainly use. If you're using a solid state drive, I honestly don't recommend this, but if you use a hard drive, go ahead and click on it and click optimize and let it run its course. This will basically organize your files in a way that makes it much faster and easier for your PC to access them, overall making your Windows PC much faster. Also, be sure to go ahead and go to your recycle bin and delete everything that's inside of it. This will just remove extra files that you don't need and it will speed up your PC's hard drive much more. Now for the next tip, there's something in the description that you guys are going to have to copy and paste. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is right click on your start, then click on Windows PowerShell Admin. Once this pop-up comes up, go ahead and click on Allow. Once you did this, go ahead and paste what I have in the description right into here and click Enter. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and just close out of this. And then what you want to do is go back to Type to Search and type in Edit Power Plan. Open this. Once you've opened it, go to the top and click on where it says power options. Down here, click on this little drop down menu and click ultimate performance. For me, it's already at the top because I've already chosen it, but for you guys, it will be where it says my custom plan for me. Now for this next one, what you guys are going to do is go ahead and open up Task Manager by clicking Control, Alt, Delete, and then clicking Task Manager. What this will do is pop up your, basically something that will show you what's using up your PC and stuff like that. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and open up Fortnite, and on here, you want to go to Details at the top, and once you go to Details, you want to scroll down until you find Fortnite Client. Click on that, the one that's using up the most memory, then set that priority to high. 
for this next trick, we're going to go ahead and open up GeForce Experience. The way you guys can do this is type in GeForce into your search. Uh, go ahead and click it and it will pop right up onto your screen. Now what you guys want to go to do, go ahead and do is go to the Fortnite that has the green on it. You guys might have two just like me. Just go to the one that's green. And then you want to click on this little toolbar at the bottom. Over here, you're going to see this little settings optimizer thing. What you're going to want to do is drag that all the way down to performance. And you guys can also change your resolution or what you guys want to play like. If you want to play it windowed, full screen, or anything like that. Definitely do full screen. And if you guys want, you can play on max resolution or any resolution you guys want. Then go ahead and click save. And um, basically, what you're going to see is the best settings to run for your Fortnite game. You guys can click a button and have NVIDIA put all these settings on your Fortnite by itself, or you guys can personally do it yourself if you want to make sure that everything's right. And this will basically give you guys the best graphic settings for Fortnite in-game that will give you guys the least amount of stutters and the best performance and FPS possible. And also one more thing about GeForce Experience is you guys can go ahead and go to your settings and turn off in-game overlay. What this is going to do is it's going to stop recording your gameplay in the background and by doing this you're going to save a ton of CPU and RAM that's going to be used up by GeForce if you're recording. Now one of the easiest fixes for most people and probably one of the dumbest ones is to update your graphics cards. A lot of people forget to update their graphic cards, including myself, and it's just something that's kind of like a chore that we gotta do. So every once in a while, make sure to click check for updates and make sure that at the bottom left, it says that you have the most up-to-date graphics card, a graphics driver. Drivers basically make it so that your game is running at the best possible for performance. And if you guys have a problem with that, just go ahead and turn on auto update. What this will do is it'll automatically download the driver. However, you will have to manually go back and install it. So just make sure that you guys are going back periodically and reinstalling the newest graphic drivers. Now, another thing that you guys want to do with Task Manager is go ahead and open it up and then bring it onto your screen. What you guys want to do is go ahead and click on CPU, Memory, and GPU and look at what's taking those three up the most. These three are absolutely critical for your PC performance, and if you ever find your memory going above 80%, I definitely suggest that you guys go ahead and upgrade your memory or get a brand new PC if you have to, if you can't upgrade it. If you ever see your CPU or your GPU go above 80%, go ahead and definitely open up Task Manager and start closing any tasks that are affecting this. So if you see something taking up a lot of CPU or GPU, go ahead and end task. For me personally, I'd basically close Google Chrome, I'd close Discord, I'd close anything that's taking up a lot of memory. Um, and yeah, so make sure you guys are definitely doing that. Now reading the patch notes, there was something really interesting that showed up there. In here, there's a thing that's a description and it said the turn rate of Brute's turret is directly affected by players' FPS settings. Lowering the frame rate allows the turret to turn much more quickly than the default 60 FPS. For players using monitors slash hardware supporting higher FPS, the turn rate will be very slow if they're using uncapped FPS or rates above 60. Now looking at this and considering how much the Brute has to do with frame rate, and considering that these are brand new in season 10 and it's something that has just came in and right after the update we have all these fps problems there might be an inverse relationship between the brute and fps meaning if the brute is in the game the frame drops are definitely going to happen and frames are going to be basically less consistent and with brutes being taken out frames might be more consistent and overall better the reason I say this is because it's so weird that they're saying that something that they've added into the game is something that is affected so much by frame rate. And if it is affected by frame rate, then what if frame rate is also affected by it? And considering that the Brute is something that people really dislike, if Epic Games does find out that the Brute is what is actually causing all of these frame drops, there's a very high chance that they could actually remove it from the game and replace the challenges for the Brute with other things so that players can continue to do their challenges. What this will do is it'll not only make the player base very happy, but it'll also make it so that the frame drops go away. Now, once again, this is just a guess. I am not 100% sure if the Brutes are actually why this is happening. And, you know, just to make this uh, very, like, um, obvious to you guys, I am not saying that this is definitely why. I'm just saying that that being in the patch notes is a little suspicious. And the fact that Season 10 update brought this huge problem to Fortnite and Epic Games really can't figure out what the issue is, it could have a lot to do with that. And also, with an extra update that came out today... Um, today is going to be the 2nd of August 2019. There was an extra update right after Season 10 that basically was supposed to fix the performance issues, 
but even after the update, a lot of players have been complaining about micro stutters and their game freezing and lagging. So obviously this update hasn't done much and Epic Games has a lot more research that they need to do to fix this. And yeah guys, basically I hope this video helped you guys out and I hope that you guys are gonna use these tips in the video in this video to fix your problems and to play much better i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope that everything in here is going to help you guys to not get this problem anymore and although this may not perfectly get rid of your so uh your problem it will definitely help with making it better because these are overall performance upgrades to your pc that will help your game run much better so yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one